Hello, today I'm going to be making a beef stew. So right now I've got about two pounds, maybe a little more, two pounds of sirloin steak that I've cubed up. I've seasoned it with um, garlic, salt, and pepper. And I'm about to brown it on the stove. And meanwhile I'm browning it, I'll be chopping up the vegetables. I'm going to use two celery sticks, half an onion, about half of that bag of baby carrots, and these small potatoes. i got to peel them, chop them. And so first things first, I'm going to cook, put this meat over here. it out so it can start cooking. Turn it down a little bit. I'm just going to let it brown on this side for a little bit and then flip it all over and then start chopping up my veggies. Okay you can see here that I've got all my vegetables ready to go. I'm not going to cut the baby carrots. I'm just going to leave them whole. Um, well, I'm, I may cut them in half long ways. Um, but I also wanted to mention, I found, I remembered I had this um, calabaza squash, which is like a Mexican version of zucchini, already chopped up from the other day. Um, I'm going to put that in there too. But I'm going to mix all of these in a bowl and put some seasoning on them. Garlic, salt, and pepper, same as I did the meat. And my meat is browned. So I'm going to put that in my crock pot and then put the vegetable mixture on top. And I'll show you what that looks like. Hey, okay. here you can see I've dumped all my meat in there. That was in the skillet. I went ahead and dumped the juice that was with it too for flavor. And in case you were wondering what that boiling sound was, I had to cook something right now to get my grub on while this stew's cooking. So I made some deluxe macaroni and cheese with some deer sausage. About to grub on that. Cause you know, crock pot stuff takes forever. So in here, I've got all my vegetable mixture. Nice and colorful, isn't it? So I'm gonna pour it on top of this beef in the crock pot. I may have went a little overboard on the vegetables, but hey, they're healthy. So I'm gonna spread that out. And then I got this beef stew seasoning pack. I'm going to use that. It said to mix it with three cups of water, so I have. Maybe I stir it up a little bit more before I pour it in. Okay, so I'm just going to pour it over here. And the last step is to turn it on and let it cook. And I'll be updating you throughout this cooking process. I'm going to cook it on high because I don't want it to take a whole night. I'm going to want to eat this for dinner. Even though I may not post this video until in the morning, but it's the same instructions either way, whatever time of day you eat it. I'll be back with you in a bit. Thank you. So here's a look at my stew so far. You can tell that the veggies are still not quite all the way done yet. So I'm going to have to leave them in a little longer. When they get done, I guess I will tell you guys the total cook time that it took here in the crock pot. But it looks good, doesn't it? 
I think it does. So I'll check back with you in a little bit. Okay guys, it's been five hours and I'm pretty sure my stew is done now. So I'm going to serve it up. Look. Doesn't that look good? And it's so cold today. It's like perfect. It's like such a comfort food, warm you up goodness. Put some extra juice in here. to cut this carrot but I'm gonna go ahead and have a shadow go ahead and take a bite it's gonna be super hot it's like smoking hot I don't know if you can see the smoke or not I blow it quite a bit I ate that potato that was on my spoon and it's done. That was the ultimate test was if the potatoes were soft. Mmm. Meat is tender too. It's delicious guys. So, cold weather, beef stew, gotta try it. Um, I wanted to give a shout out to my friend Laura Conway. She made a beef stew this week gave me the idea. I'll put a link to her channel in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.